Hi guys, Akiko here. Today I want to show you a proper fighting stance in kumite situation and uh, also a simple jab. So for experience or intermediate level of a karateka, this video might be a little boring for you, but this is strictly basic for beginners, so just put up with me, okay? So here is a fighting stance. Is let's start with for you is left foot forward. Always start with your left foot forward. So this is natural stance. Just hip width and just put your right feet right foot back and you know just a little do try a little relaxed hop and land that should be your natural effective relaxed stance of fighting so for some people got long legs it might be longer or for bigger leg like mine <laughs> might be a little wider but just up and land and that should be your very natural position centered fighting stance but make sure your forward hood in your case is left foot big toes shooting straight not out not, not in no none of that because you're gonna fight you're gonna go front the energy has to go this way, if toe is in or out, the energy is just dispersed, not straight to the opponent. So make sure front with big toes shooting straight. Okay? And likewise, the back foot for this case is your right foot, toes, depending on your groin flexibility, um, back foot. For your right foot, toes shouldn't be open like this. I see lots of people doing this. That's not all. Because, again, you have to go front, front. So, energy has to go this way, straight. If you have a back foot open like this, energy goes that way. It's more like a slowing you down, okay? And back foot is really important when you go straight forward shifting forward because that is the energy source like a like a how do you call it speed pedal in a car accelerate you know pedal okay so make sure the back foot toe is not going the other way if you are flexible try to get straight as possible so you might feel a little tight in your hip joint. So if you are not very flexible, maybe just a little bit, up to 45 degrees, not 90 degrees. So try that and make sure you are in center, not square. Just practice. So land, land, okay? Now, fighting stance. So, left, if you are left foot forward, left fist goes front and right fist in the back. And elbow in, not elbow out. That means you're giving the opponent a lot of room to attack. Okay? So, not elbow out, elbow in. Okay? Elbow in. And then, I see some boxers tend to do this way. In boxing world, it might be okay, but again, you're giving a lot of open room, unprotected. So personally, even boxing, I would go lower down. And uh, guys tend to hunch the back. That's no, no. Have a good posture. Keep tucked under. Not butt sticking up, tucked under, not hunching the butt, straight, long neck. Okay, so that. 
and uh, upper body is slightly 45. Okay, let's try the other side, right foot forward. Okay, check yourself, check yourself. Okay, other way. Other way. And left foot forward. Now, this is a fun part. So I'm gonna go a little closer so you can see. Let's do a jab called Kizami Zuki. So, that's basically doing. So, elbow is like a, attached to the rib and out and rotate your upper body and back. So, I will just navel. This is the direction navel and back. 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 Use your core. So if the butt sticking out, it's too slow. So that's why you have to pelvis tucked under and not hunching. That's too slow. You are, there's no engagement in the core. So that's why long neck, chest up. And if you want to speed up the negative face, the other right, the other hand, pull back, pull back. Speed up. Okay, let's try the other side. Okay. Right foot forward, big toes straight forward, left foot slightly, but try to be straight. Okay, 45, slightly 45. And then elbow attached to the rib and no flaring out, elbowing. Okay, speed up. And uh, sometimes I see in a student very eager, they pull back before executing, completing punch the job. It's called, you know, completion. It's kimen. Kimen and pull back. Kimen and pull back. Some people are here. It looks cool. For practice to strengthen your arms, that's a great exercise, but in a kumite situation, you don't pull back before completing. So, none of this. Kime and back, kime and back. But Master Sensei, it looks like a, he's doing like this, but watch closely, they do kime and pull back. It's just half a second, kime and back. Okay, so just be careful. So let's let's do one more time. Okay. And another thing I notice, I sometimes do that. Don't shrug your shoulder, shoulder down. Okay. Tend to do this. I'm getting eager sometimes, so go going this way, shoulder down. All right, and up and down. All right, Oops. so I hope this helped and I repeat all about repetition, 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 practice, practice, practice. If you have any questions, just shoot me a message and thanks for watching. See you next time.